I get a lot of requests for people looking for PEI maps. In the past, the PEI government's produced a fantastic paper, typical foldy map that you used to be able to get at the gas stations. I don't see that anymore. I used to be able to order them online. I don't see it there either, so I'm not sure if they're going to have them at the tourist stops uh, this year or not. But if you're looking for a physical map, that's one source. That's the best source, in my opinion. The second one would be probably Officers, Staples, or Walmart. Uh, they typically have the, uh, the typical maps that you'd buy for trips, in addition to AAA and CAA. But most people are going online, and there's a lot of really neat utilities online, both for tourists, vacationers, and if you're looking for real estate or developing property. So looking online, obviously the number one source would probably be Google Maps. Uh, phenomenal source for aerial photos that are really high quality and fairly up to date. You've got your traditional map, but you also have your overlay that overlays on top of that aerial photo. The handiest thing about Google Maps is the Google Street View. So in PEI, you can basically go down any street with the exception of those streets that aren't paved. So a lot of cottage subdivisions, um, laneways you're not going to be able to go down. Google, the Google car must have an adversity to dirt. And I can understand why since they're carrying a bunch of cameras. Uh, but anything paved, Google Street View will get you down. And it's usually pretty up to date. Um, we also have a number of mapping sites that the PEI government offers. The real estate agents use something called Geolink which gives you maps of particular properties. Uh, you can do all kinds of fancy stuff. That's a pay service. The one I use, I'll include the video link in the description, is from uh, gov.pe.ca. It's one of them, probably 12 or 14 different utilities they have there. I'll post that link as well. Uh, they've got some really neat stuff that will allow you to measure property lines, bring up GPS coordinates, and all kinds of stuff. Uh, I've made videos and pretty well all of that. Main thing, I would use the ortho... Uh, photos for is generating GPS coordinates. I always travel with GPS coordinates. I don't use addresses because of a couple reasons. GPS coordinates are absolutely definitive. They'll bring me right to the, the driveway, whereas address is not so much. Raw land, if you're looking at that, there is no address for raw land unless there is a building permit issued or there's some sort of structure on site at some point. So you have no choice but to use the GPS. There is a farming computer. Again, I'll include the link. It will allow you to do soil maps and all kinds of neat stuff. That's more for septic systems, use for us, or if you're developing a property or you want to see what parts of that property is usable. It's really a fantastic utility. And in PEI, we have historic roads. There is a historic road map. Uh, the historic roads are discontinued roads, so they're really, really cool to drive down or walk down, but they're not typically on your standard map and sometimes not even on GPS. So that's interesting to look at. Trails, uh, we used to have a railroad. It hasn't been here in the 21 years that I've been here. Uh, so it was discontinued. It was turned into a trail system that covers one end of the island to the other. And then there's a whole pile of other trail systems as well. Those are all in line for um, snowmobile, ATV use, walking trails, you name it, it's there. And a number of communities like Stratford have tried to tr develop a trail system within the community as well, and they've been quite successful at it. What else do we have here? Geocaching. You're looking for something fun to do? Go geocaching. It's like a treasure hunt using GPS coordinates. I would highly recommend um, a handheld trailblazer type GPS opposed to an automotive one and I am a huge Garmin uh, supporter. I don't get any kickbacks from them. I just think the Garmin products as far as GPS is the best. I remember my first GPS it was over almost four thousand dollars and now they're down to like a hundred to two hundred dollars. They are fantastic. I've had clients come here and they wanted to use paper maps. They told them to buy a GPS. GPSs are the way to go. So in PEI, you're going to use that for obviously addresses using streets, geo coordinates, and lastly, 
highways. Highways are a little tricky. Sometimes they'll have one name, but you can't bring up the name, but you can bring up the number. For instance, Rattenberry Road, Route 254. If you're looking for 1,000 Rattenberry Road, you can just type in 1,000. The street name would be 254. If you can't find the street, because sometimes they're not on the map, just grab the cross streets that are as close as possible. And that's about it. So if there's any questions about mapping PEI or any other resources you, uh, you feel you need or any questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching my video and have yourself a great day.